The enemy always wants to divert us from relationship onto our circumstances. Pull your face away from who Jesus is and start looking at what's going on around your life. Start looking at who you're not. God gives us promises because promises are relational. A promise is not circumstantial. God doesn't give a promise to your circumstances. He gives it to you. He gives it to you as a guarantee of this is what I'm going to be for you. This is who I am right now. My favorite question of all time is, Lord, what is it you want to be for me now that this is happening that you couldn't be at any other time? Thank you so much for this problem. What is it you want to be for me? Who do you want to be for me in this? I love that question because it opens up my heart. A promise is designed to create fellowship and build relationship and trust. For the enemy to negate your promise, he has to shift your attention off the promise onto your circumstances or onto your provision. He wants you to understand how difficult your life really is. And Jesus wants you to understand that you're not much of a challenge. <laughs> Jesus wants you to understand how easy your life can be. The world locks us in to difficulty, to chaos. That's why the news is almost always bad. And we get driven by that mindset. We are conditioned to think that everything's going to be hard. But Jesus said, come to me, those who are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I'll teach you how to live in a place of peace above all that. You'll find peace for your soul, rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's only looking after 7.3 billion people. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Your life is not tough for God. He knows what he can do.